Hey everyone, welcome back to MSPowerUser.com, you're here with Tom, and today we're looking at the five continuing apps that we think are worth checking out. Now just so you know, we're leaving out the first party Microsoft apps for this one and focusing purely on the third party offerings. Kicking off our list at number five is Crossy Road. Now, love it or hate it, Crossy Road can be super addictive and it holds true on Continuum. It scales up really nicely for the big screen and it feels like you're playing a genuine PC game, albeit a simple one. The controls work well for the keyboard and mouse layout and all the features you expect are here. The added screen size gives you a better lay of the land and allows you to plan a little better as well. The only thing it feels like it's missing out on is multiplayer. Keyboards have plenty of space for someone else to join in and it would be really great to see that added in the future. Coming in at number 4 is Photoshader. Photoshader is actually a pretty new app, it's only been out for about a month or so but it's proven it's worth by being a full and well rounded photo editing app. You can import photos from what's on your phone or connect it to OneDrive to bring in photos from the cloud. Photoshader has a variety of editing tools and a decent set of filters for changing the look of your photos. The layout for Continuum is also very well designed and filters and tools are easy to use and locate, making for an overall cohesive and excellent experience. Number 3 on our list is Baconit. Baconit is a fully fledged Reddit app for Windows Phone and its Continuum counterpart is also very well rounded. The interface makes browsing subreddits a breeze, viewing and replying to comments is super easy and the notification bar at the bottom makes managing your account really simple. Submitting posts to your favourite subreddits is also provided in the app which flushes out the experience nicely. Now you could argue that you could just open up Microsoft Edge and go on the website for the ultimate experience, however we still think Baconit is a worthwhile Continuum app to check out. Pushing up to the top of our list now of number 2, which is MyTube. Now you could say MyTube is the quintessential app for YouTube on Windows 10 Mobile currently. It's fast and fluid and is an excellent example of the Metro interface working to its strengths. You can do everything you'd expect from a decent YouTube client here. Uploading, searching, commenting and general browsing are all very well executed. And you can even download a video to your device to watch later. Lovely stuff. Before we crack on with our number one app to check out, there are a couple of honourable mentions that you really shouldn't give a miss either. Read it for Reddit is a, another amazing client for Windows 10 Mobile. There is a wonderful interface at work here, so make sure to give that a peep. And Newsflow, which is a stunning little news application that also works really well for Continuum. Now onto our number one app, which we certainly think is worth checking out, Aries for Twitter. Now this is the only app on our list which is a paid for app, but for its features it does live up to the asking value. Not only is Aries an excellent Twitter client for your mobile, but its Continuum counterpart is where it really shines. When you open it up, you're greeted with an interface that makes really good use of the extra space, with cascading columns called sections, which are filled with your content. You can edit these sections in the settings menu and tell Aries what you want to show you in each section. For instance, you can have your main timeline in one, mentions in another, private messages in another, and your own tweets next to that. If you've ever used TweetDeck before, you might feel right at home with this one. We only wish it would support more than one account at a time. I'd love to manage two accounts on the same screen, but right now that's not possible. So that about rounds off our top five third party continuing apps, which are definitely worth checking out. Let us know what you thought of the list in the comments below. And was there any we missed out that you love to use? Or are there any new ones on the horizon which might be worth checking out? I've been Tom from MSPowerUser.com. Be sure to check the website for all things Microsoft and I'll see you guys in the next one.